what's going on guys f32 mick here in today's video what i'm going to show you guys exactly how to do um, is update your iDrive system well the service history um, side um, so like if you do your own old changes or anything like that or just like it's a general service or a big service if you do it yourself or take it to like a trusted mechanic that doesn't have the ability to actually update it um, you'll be able to then go and do it yourself um, which I find uh, very good because a lot of people take their cars to um, indie garages along with BMW garages just for this feature um, the way I came about this program is um, I actually lost uh, my service history on the car um, one day I've turned it on I had a look and it just disappeared um, obviously I was annoyed I still had the paper trail but it's always good to have it on the actual iDrive system itself um, what I'm going to do is leave the description um, for the program um, sorry the program in the description um, from there you'll be able to download it um, and then edit it yourself um, but what I'm going to do is I've got my uh, laptop um, hooked up to the car via internet port um, I'll show you guys exactly how to do that anyway um, but yeah I'm going to show you guys exactly how it works and what you can do on there okay so to hook up the uh, laptop to the car you just need a um, OBD to uh, internet port here and um, so you can just plug it into your laptop and um, this is the program here um, well when you open it it's literally going to look like this just a blank screen um, just with the program running um, what this allows you to do because this is the light um, slash free version as you can see there um, what you're actually able to do is just write to the car and you can't read um, the, the current service data from there so if you were to put anything on your car um, it would wipe everything that's on there so it's always best to note down exactly um, what services you've got on there um, just note it down on the piece of paper on your notes and then when you're doing this for the first time um, you can just write everything um, back up along with the uh, new service data uh, that you need to put in and then you'll be able to save that file onto your computer and then whenever it's whenever it's a case of you putting anything on uh, in the future you just open that file and add to it um, as well when you're writing to the car yeah you're definitely not able to stop that from happening unless uh, you buy the uh, full version um, what I'm going to do is quickly just show you my service history so let's come off that screen first I've already uh, used this before so you're going to see some sort of vehicle information vehicle status and then service requirements service history and you'll be able to see here so and um, all those there oh, I've done the top one so that was just normal change these are my services and uh, was a brake um, a full brake pad change a brake fluid and then that was um, full service from a third party um, again um, obviously once you click into it you'll have all the information there this is one that I've actually added myself and then you've got the original um, service history so what I'm going to quickly do is show you exactly um, how to write it okay so I'm going to quickly show you guys how to obviously use this system here but what I've done already is I've wiped my uh, service history clean so as you can see here there's no service history at all it's just showing when uh, things are due um, so um, I've already um, got a file on here with all my service data so I've obviously kept that um, but if you are starting as new um, it's always best um, to copy everything that's on the iDrive system um, first of all just so you don't lose that um, so type it down and then input it on here which I'm going to show you guys how to do in a sec and then um, add the new service history on top so to actually add anything on you just right click if it works yeah there you go and press add here you'll have the uh, date what where, where the service took place 
in terms of the um, service status, you can have that on time, late or incomplete. Um, with the mileage, um, it has to be inputted in kilometers. Um, so if you're like me, um, you know, live in the UK, use miles per hour, um, just go on Google um, and um, get a mileage converter. And you'll obviously be able to convert it right from there and just input it in on here. Um, the workshop type, you'll either have independent or BMW. Workshop ID, um, that's mainly for the BMW ones. So each BMW dealership has its own code. Um, so you put that code in there. If it's your own one, you can just put whatever you like in there. Um, I just put home in myself. Procedure count, that's exactly how many things we've done, uh, which I'll show you. And here's the procedures here. So where it says add and type, you can click on that box and then you'll be able to pick like what's been done. And you can obviously add multiple stuff. So just for example, fuel filter, I can click on that and then I can press add and then you'll see it pop up in that box there. Um, but what I'm gonna do is cancel this off. And then I've got my file, so I'll just quickly be able to get that. So you can see everything here. And then what I'll do is I'll click there. Just double check the Enet cable is in properly. Yeah, definitely is. Um, from here, uh, what you do is press detect. Once detect is um, pressed, it says auto detecting and it will show your VIN number um, and your IP address. Um, what you'll then do is you'll come here and then you'll just press uh, the start button. Because I've got the light version, um, I can't actually um, untick that box. So I'll just quickly press start and then you'll be able to see that it's doing that there. It's doing its thing, right in new service history. And you'll just wait for that to happen. And then once it's done, it'll restart the head unit. Yeah, like so. And then you can see that there. It's just adding it in now. Double check service requirements, and then there you go again. You can see service history, and then everything is back again. And that's all my service history there. Okay, guys, so that's the uh, full tutorial um, on updating your uh, iDrive system yourself. If you have found it useful, please give me a like, um, subscribe, and share the video as well. We're sure to help out a lot of people um, that do um, the service stuff themselves as well. Um, but yeah, I'll catch you in the next one, guys. Um, hopefully, it should be very soon. I've got a few um, exciting cars coming to the channel as well. So yeah, see ya.